everyone. Welcome to the Scout Shed. Today we're going to do a review of the Viking Bags Large Tank Bag. It's the 14 inch tank bag. Let's get started. Okay, we're going to pull this bag out now. I've already opened it up out of the nice plastic it came with. Now let's see what it, the bag actually comes with. It's the uh, 14 inch large uh, the X line of uh, Viking tank bags and I see it's got it's got this plastic clear cover That zips open and close. It's got a snap that opens. I think you that's just so you can take it off like that But you can put like your cell phone or your maps I don't know if anybody still uses maps or not anymore, but keep some of your documents and stuff in there Let's see if this snaps on Yep, they'll snap on pretty good and it still velcros back on that snaps pretty good. Then, uh, let me see. Yep, that's got it. These are pretty big zippers, so you can use them with your gloves still on. Let's open the bag up. That opened up pretty well. And I see there's a there's a zip-up pouch here. You could probably put your spam cards or something in this one. Another little Velcro thing here. Another one here. You, like you put your wallet or something in there you see a couple spots for pens or maybe like a small knife or something but uh here's a rain cover like most viking bags come with a little bit of a rain cover these are backpack straps so you can actually take it off the bike and uh, carry it we'll zip this back up that seems like it vips zips up pretty good there's another zipper up here with a little spot you can put Probably put like the rain cover or something in there if you want to carry it with you. We'll zip that back up. It's got a nice uh, nice heavy duty carrying handle. Here's the D-rings. You could probably use that to either strap it to your bike. And of course it's most likely for the uh, backpack straps and stuff. And uh, it comes with, there's a couple magnets here to hold it to your gas tank. And this is supposed to protect your uh, gas tank, I think. I don't know but that's what the bag looks like so far seems like it's made pretty well let's see i think uh we'll try and go ahead and put this on the bike now and see how it looks i see okay here we are we're out in the scout shed i've got the uh viking bag on my scout now you know uh, if it's okay i actually can't get this to uh stick to the tank the other one but there are other magnets underneath it seems like it would stay on there pretty good the magnets you do attach seem to work okay it's kind of tight for this bike though but i have uh two inch risers on my handlebar too and uh you know it looks okay i don't think i'll be able to necessarily use it on the uh scout like i want to let me see i mean it's, the handle kind of just flops there too. I would I don't know if I'd want the handle on there or not, but we'll pull that back off and try it this way. See the magnets. Magnets stick a little bit better by putting it on this way. There's quite a few magnets, like I said. There's magnets actually in the bottom part too. But it's still still pretty I'd say it fits alright. I wouldn't give uh five stars for the way it fits on the Scout 60 or the regular Scout since they have the same tank. Like I said, it looks like a decent bag. I may be able to use it, maybe if I mount it on the seat, the back seat or something, I could probably strap it on there. Yeah, that actually doesn't look too bad if I mounted it, maybe with a couple straps or something. Say, like I said, there's the D-rings on there and stuff. There's the two D-rings up here and then there's one underneath. I could, I could strap that on there like that. So say it's almost like a tail bag too or maybe if i lay it down let's see yeah that would fit pretty good on my passenger seat too as far as using it as a tank bag though on the scout or scout 60 i don't know if i would recommend it or not you know which is too bad it's actually a nice uh nice made bag i just i don't know i don't think i can recommend it at least on the scout 60. the magnets seem strong enough though if you have a different shaped tank Maybe on a bigger bike, or maybe just a little bit more of a rounded tank, you would be able to use it as a tank bag. But I think I'm going to end up keeping it and using it for uh, maybe just on the back. 
Like I said, I can just use a couple straps or something and that wouldn't be bad. It fits pretty good. But all right, I have it on as a backpack right now. See the straps are pretty strong on it. They're not really that comfortable of a strap if you're gonna carry this all day. But I'll probably use it like a camera bag or something. You know, hop off the bike, take throw it on your back, and uh, you know, if you're gonna hike through the woods and take some pictures or video. But that's my review of the Viking large bag. Uh, gas tank bag and next week I'm going to be doing a review of uh, some Viking chaps that I ordered off of Amazon and stay tuned for that I'll see you next week bye for now